Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you some different ways to make spider webs. Um, I'm gonna show you two ways primarily, and then I'm gonna show you some different pictures of spider webs. They're really quite beautiful. And um, if we have time, I'll show you some more pictures um, in class. All right, so there are actually lots of different types of spider webs. So I actually looked up different types and some of the different types that there are are sheet webs, cob tangle webs, woolly webs, funnel webs, and orb webs. Okay and primarily what most people draw are orb webs which is this kind of web right here. Okay um I printed off a few pictures of spider webs because like I said, they are really quite beautiful. Um, and if you find a spider web and the light is hitting it just right, you can it, you can really see the full design. Okay, there's another one. And I like to think of spiders as artists because they have to weave these webs. And I'm sure the more they weave these webs, the better they get at it, just like any artist. Wow, this one really has a tight weave. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So the two different types of webs that I'm going to um, show you how to do are these, okay? And neither of them are finished. They're ones that I started. But that's what I'm gonna show you in this video today, okay? Um, you can use a ruler if you want to. You don't have to. I didn't for the webs that I just showed you, but I'm going to for the video. All right, here we go. So, first thing you're going to do, and you don't have to do yours exactly like mine, just so you know, okay? But the first thing that you're gonna do is create three intersecting lines, okay? So one, two, and then you're gonna wanna intersect with that. Now, this is just the way I'm doing it. You can do more. Actually, you know what? Let's do more. Let's do more. Come on, people. Let's create another line here. Okay, we'll start with this. All right, so now we have four intersecting lines. Okay, so the first web I'm gonna show you just has a straight line, okay? So you're just gonna go round and round with a straight line. And you can use a ruler to do this, or you can freehand it without any guidance, okay? And you're just gonna go round and round and round. Okay, and you would continue until you got to a, a point that you wanted to stop. Okay, all right. So again, that's this kind of web, okay? And if it's a little bit off, kind of like this one, that's actually not a bad thing because if you look at most spider webs, they're not perfect. Okay, and that's actually what makes them beautiful. I think if they were perfect, they wouldn't actually be as beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you this kind of web. I'm gonna grab a piece of paper. Okay, so. 
we're gonna do four intersecting lines again. One, two, Okay, now for this one, there is going to be a little bend in your line. Okay, so you're gonna bend the line, bend the line, bend the line. Ooh, bump, beep, bump, bump. Okay. Okay, so you kind of get the idea. You're going around and around and around and you're bending the line. Now, I've also seen people do a reverse bend. So instead of like that, they do it like this. Okay, you're welcome to do a reverse bend. I have seen webs that kind of have that reverse bend to them, and that's kind of up to you, um, depending on what you like the look of better. Okay? All right, and then one other thing is, um, when you look at the webs, you know, they've got kind of just these interesting little geometric shapes along the edges of, and the lines get kind of different because they're trying to tack the web to whatever is around. And so if you wanted to add some of those kind of interesting extra lines to your web, okay, you could do that. It's kind of up to you. You are the artist. All right, happy art making.